Our top story this morning. With last week's local elections done and dusted, President Parkinay is expected to push ahead with her much anticipated reshuffle of the cabinet and her presidential office aides. A new prime minister nominee will likely be named today as well. Kim Min Ji starts us off. President Bakune will likely announce her pick to fill the vacant prime minister's seat as early as this Monday. With the local elections out of the way, the president is expected to speed up the cabinet reshuffle in response to the government's lax handling of April's ferry disaster. Sources say President Bak has been searching for a candidate with an innovative mind and deep ethnical integrity. This comes after our previous Prime Minister nominee, Ande He, withdrew last month amid criticism over the amount of money he earned in the private sector after retiring as a Supreme Court Justice. The president has been mulling over potential candidates as she seeks to press ahead with her reform agenda. Candidates under consideration include Kim Young Nan, former head of the Anti Corruption and Civil Rights Commission, as well as Cho Mu Jae, a former Supreme Court Justice. With the ruling Senuri party failing to grab winning tickets from the Chungcheongdo provinces at the local elections, candidates from these provinces are also being considered. A reshuffle is also imminent at the presidential office. President Park on Sunday tapped Yoon Doo Hyun as the new presidential press secretary after a close eight step down from the post. Yoon, head of YTM Plus, a digital contents provider, was noted for his balanced way of thinking and keen analytical skills as a journalist. Yoon was appointed as he's the right person to explain government reform policies to the public and receive their understanding and cooperation. A review process is also underway for other presidential aides to be replaced. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.